Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope each and every one of you are having an absolutely amazing Thursday so far. It is the uh, end of the week. We're getting to the weekend and yeah, it's a beautiful day out here in uh, New York. A beautiful, looks to be a couple of beautiful days coming up here, but the reason I want to go ahead and talk today is not to talk about this insanely amazing weather that we have. It's a uh, matter of some new developments out in the atmosphere area now normally i'm not one to talk about these you know I'm more the self-help give inspiration all that but i can't help but notice what's going on in the metaverse the meta world the meta universe the social media verse to even give that bigger picture so what i mean by all this right so for those of you that have a instagram and I'll even dare say a Facebook account as well. For those of you that know Twitter, we all know the new development that's taking place called Threads. And I'm actually a part of Threads myself. I've got the username and everything. So if I'm following you on Instagram, chances are we're going to be following each other on, on Threads as well. But the point is not to talk about me getting follows, right? <laughs> the part of me is to discuss the value, the impact, and really the bigger picture of what's going on here. So, of course, those who've grown up with the Twitter account, I remember starting mine back in 2009, which, wow, is almost about 15 years ago, you know, for, for the, uh, I guess for the, um, actually, no, sorry, 14 years ago, 14 years ago, We're not quite in 2024 yet, but 14 years ago, I started my Twitter, and of course, it was great, you know, it was community, we were able to follow each other, you know, have some laughs, have some fun, you know, be able to do all the Twittery tweets and the bluebird and all that good stuff. And then a gentleman by the name of Elon Musk, Mr. Tesla, you know, Mr. SpaceX, that that particular guy, he went ahead, he bought out Twitter. It's a big deal back then because he even won Twitter uh, at a particular point in time, and now he wants Twitter and all this. And so he bought it. And the thing about Twitter. What made it so engaging, what made it so fun was the fact that we could freely talk with people, freely communicate, freely share, freely retweet, quote, all the beautiful things and be able to do that, you know, with unlimited power, so to speak. So here is where Threads is created, or the point of the conversation now is what Threads is doing, what Twitter has been doing, and how Threads is looking to capitalize, right? Again, this is just me, you know, just talking big picture stuff right here. But the reason people now have a problem with Twitter is because of the cap limit, yes. So for those that don't know about the cap limit, apparently there is this cap limit on what you could read, what you could read as far as what people are tweeting. I think the, for me, I'm still unverified because I, I really refuse to pay for Twitter. It's a social media service for for uh, for the universe's sake. And so I'm only able to read 300 posts a day. 300 posts a day. Think about it like this, right? For those of you that use Twitter, like I think you would use Twitter based on how I use Twitter, you scroll down, bop, 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 you know, all that good stuff. You've reached your 300 posts limit within about two minutes. If you think I'm kidding, go ahead and try it yourself and bear with me. There's a long... It's beautiful yard work going on, you know. Just because I move different states doesn't mean that beautiful yard work does not end. It only just gets more beautiful, right? But that's not the point. Point is, no one likes the cap limit, right? We all like to be in freedom, control to do whatever the heck we want. We don't want Twitter or Elon Musk telling us, right? And, and forgive me, I'm not trying to disparage the man right here. I'm just calling it like it is. We don't feel, we do not want to be limited on what we can go ahead and read. And so Threads has come around and Threads is saying, listen, we're gonna create something that's just, for lack of a better word, call it what it is, a Twitter clone, right? Now, if they've released some particular features, then, you know, I'm gonna be standing correct. I'm gonna be wrong in that particular aspect and I'll be happy. I'll be very grateful that I am wrong, but I'm calling it like it is. Threads is a Twitter clone. However, what is Threads doing that Twitter is not doing? 
Threads is allowing you to read how many posts you would like. It's allowing you to follow whatever you want to follow. It's allowing you to go ahead and explore, discover, share. And so, over in Twitterverse, over in Twitterland, Elon Musk has got a big question he has to really ask himself. Is making money on Twitter worth it? Now, granted, you could still make money on Twitter, right? You don't have to do all the verified and pay for the verification and all that. You don't got, really got to do that to make money. There's certainly other avenue, other revenue streams that could be tapped into that I myself can't think of right now, but it's certainly possible. There's a unlimited number of possibilities that we'd love to call the universe, right? But it remains clear. Threads is here because it's taking advantage of the problem Twitter placed on itself by putting on this cap limit. And so, if nothing changes, right, you could always change it at the, uh, just like that, right? Let me do that. You could always change just like that. But if Twitter does not change, they continue this uh, limit right here. Again, this just goes into one of the issues that Twitter has. And I don't really want to make a whole video about that. That's not what this is about. This is really based on, in my opinion, how do I feel about threads? Well, threads to me feels like Twitter. You know, I could go ahead and post my stuff, my inspirational stuff, wisdom, do the same thing that I do on Twitter. And I get to have my Instagram audience, which frankly, and again, I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful for the audience I have on Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, but I do know that my Instagram audience, oh, and by the way, my TikTokers, can't, can't forget about the TikTokers. Very grateful for all that audience. But I know that my biggest audience actually does come from Facebook. <laughs> so I have about 5,000 friends on there. Very grateful for that. But my second biggest audience comes from Instagram. And thus, we're able to connect a lot more in a Twitter-like environment through threats. So I think that is very beneficial and very advantageous to not only just myself, but other current content creators that are out there in this world. So I bring all this up to make a long story short. Twitter... My friends, my Twitterverse friends, you have a choice to make. And it's not a matter of me trying to intimidate because I'm just I'm just Jordan I'm Jordan Rosario. I'm the universe changing emperor. I'm one man, I'm one piece of the puzzle. But if I'm thinking the way that I'm thinking, it's gonna be a lot of other people thinking the same way. That threads is just like Twitter. Threads doesn't have this cap. What's the point of having a Twitter? Because I, all I could do is really just, and it'll take a little bit of work, and I could still have a Twitter while I'm at it. But if I can do what I'm already doing on Threads with what I'm doing on Twitter, and I don't get those cap restrictions, then Twitter has a lot to think about. Let's just put it like that. Anyway, my thoughts on Threads, just keep it back on point in the main track I like threads come hang out there's going to be a lot more beautiful people that are going to go to threads than just myself I'm going to be able to have a conversation be able to have fun and the beautiful thing about threads is we can keep it twitter without having to worry about it being instagram at the same time so that my friends I'm going to go ahead and get back inside it's a little hot out I also got some lawn work going on right here, and uh, it's cute for me to not really participate in that noise. Anyway, be great, be favored, and be the person you desire that you're destined to become. Thank you.